Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Looks like we've got a runaway pig here. This little gal here, we're changing around another of the pins, uh, making a double pin out of it. What are you doing, huh? Come on, let's go back down to the barn. Go on. This little pig here always liked to get out when she was little. When she was little enough, she would escape through the bars. And she would always come up here around the pig pen hunting something to eat. Uh, she's just a knothead. <laughs> yeah, we've got several of them uh, out right now. We're just letting them wander around and but he doesn't know what quite to do there. We've got several of them wandering around because we're in the process of uh, changing another pen around and we don't have uh, a spot to put them. Uh, things are getting kind of crowded around here because the, <clears throat> the amount of pigs is still the same, but uh, they've been growing since <clears throat> Excuse me, since we uh, have, have had the pins completed. This is the pin right here that we're working on right now. We've got uh, this, the cement out of it. Uh, so we're going to start digging down. Marcel and I got a truckload of rice hulls this morning. Um, amazingly enough, we work, we work together at it. We, we uh, we actually took turns with the shoveling, and I uh, I can't drive in and out of there where we've been getting them anymore uh, because it's too steep. I can't get the truck out with a full load, so we would take turns filling up the bags like they were doing there, and then I would carry them up to the trunk, the truck, and dump dump them. And that full load only took us about 30 minutes, and it was uh, it was a full load of rice hulls. So this is a peek here at uh, the completed uh, double pin with the rice holes in it. We, well, we may have a, a few too many in this pen because this is Mars. She's kind of a knothead too. Marcel named her Mars, uh, short for Marcel or some some acronym like that. And. She likes to root around as pigs do, and she's filled up her eating trough. So we may have to end up taking a, a little bit of the rice holes out of this one if she's going to continue to be a knothead. Uh, we really can't build up her little feeding trough anymore. It's already about eight inches deep, and it's just as deep as this one over here. These two little gals here, we just moved in. Uh, I think we moved them in yesterday evening. Uh, they were part of the of the three that were in this pen here. So we're going to do these two pens here next. I'm going to get down here and I'm going to take my turn with the with a bata, as they call it. It's just a, this is just a, a piece of uh, 25 millimeter uh, rebar that has been cut off of a 20 foot piece and sharpened on one end, a, a, point, a point made on that end and sharpened on this end here. And it's good for uh, loosening up this hard pack soil. So, I'll get in there. One of us will pick and one of us will shovel. And this pen over here needs to be done. <laughs> yeah, she wants out. Every All her friends are out. She wants out too. This pen over here, uh, these little guys here are just destroying it. They're too crowded as well. So they get bored, so they're digging down through the concrete. Oh, 
What are you fussing about, huh? 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 What are you fussing about, huh? Huh? What? I don't know what the exact story is on this little pig here, but I can see by her ears and that little gash on the back of her neck that she's been fighting and probably losing. Trying to get this pen back into place so we can let her out. Yippee. There we go. Maybe she'll quit fussing if we let her out and run around with her friends. Yeah, maybe she just wanted to bite the gate. I enjoy pigs and being around them. Uh, there's always a character in the bunch. This sow right here uh, is unnamed, but she's up here uh, flirting with the boar. And so is this little sow down here. It looks like she was one of the ones that was fighting as well. Uh, this is where we keep our boar. So, that is a big pig. I'm going to put my hand on her so you guys can see just how big she is. I would put her an easy 170 kilos. She's probably 30 kilos heavier than that boar. This boar is a cross is a crossbreed. Uh, these are that's a purebred uh, meat pig there, that sow there, and this guy's a cross. Our boar here is a cross. I wanted to get introduce some new genes into these sows. This is one of the sows that we bought uh, from another piggery in Gindelman, and it was my opinion. They were bought while I wasn't here, but it was my opinion. Uh, when I came back and looked at them, uh, that there was a little bit of inbreeding going on. I don't know it for a fact, but it was just a hunch, just by their, just by their their general setup, the way they looked. So we thought that if we used our our crossbred boar, uh, it would introduce some uh, new genes into their piglets, which uh, I thought was sorely needed. Well, I'm going to get this video ended and take my turn on the on the bar down here. In fact, what I may do is we've been taking this concrete that we've been busting out of the pins here and taking it up and setting it in our driveway because uh, it's just a it's just a dirt driveway with a little bit of uh, gravel thrown on top. The rains haven't been serious yet at all this year. We've had some heavy downpours, but none of those steady uh, two or three day rains that soak into the clay and make it uh, really muddy. So we haven't had much problem, but we're gonna get this up there and see if we can stop that problem before it happens. Just a little update here on our piggery. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.